Well, if you're on a boat, you've probably seen this at least once. It usually happens on Sunday morning, right before you and the family decide on a big day at the lake or going fishing or maybe headed to the beach. And well, tire stores are all closed. And how the devil are you going to do this? How are you going to fix a dead flat tire? Unless you got a big compressor in the house and you do a lot of things like spray painting, you're probably not going to have the air pressure the tire stores do to pop this tire back on. Of course, you take it to a tire store that has hit it with a lot of air real fast with their huge receivers and it comes right back on the rim. Well, I'm going to show you a way of doing it where you don't need all that pressure and don't need that huge amount of surge air. I'm actually going to do it with a little small compressor like you use to inflate your tires at your house. As you can clearly see here, it's off the rim. There's several pockets here where you can stick your finger in, and there's no way this tire is going to seal up unless you use this trick. What I have here is a light duty tie down, like you probably have gotten for securing loads on the back of a pickup truck or on a small boat. What I'm going to do is wrap it around the tire, get it up around the center of the tire. And then I'm going to ratchet it back tight and pop the tire back on the wheel to get it all sealed back up so I can pump it up. This just a case of getting the tie down centered on the tire and then slowly ratcheting the tire, making sure the tie down doesn't get off the center. Eventually it will cause the tire to expand out and take a new seat on the rim. This actually was a one take video. It actually did go on there this fast. Usually you do have to slightly inflate the tire with the tie down still wrapped around the tire and then carefully release it, bearing in mind of course it's going to want to pop because of the tire pressure. As you can see, nothing fancy going on. Just take your time, ratchet a little bit, check it, make sure it's in the middle of the tire, ratchet a little more. Best thing to do here is watch the inside and outside of the uh, tire and see if it's coming on the rim. And this one's proceeding pretty nicely. All I'm doing here is just pushing it down the spot where it was off the rim just to get it seated back on the rim. And we're getting pretty close. Ratchet a couple more times, roll it over, check it again. Make sure that uh, the tire is starting to seat. Looking pretty good. I think I'm just about there. Okay, in this case, I took the strap off because the tire did look like it was firming up pretty good and it was going back on the rim. I would say in most cases you probably have to leave the strap on to get one or two PSI in the tire before you take the strap off. And again, be real careful when you do pull that strap off that you don't accidentally hit yourself with it. Right now I'm just doing a slow pump on the tire, checking to see if the tire is firming up. It's slowly but surely bringing it up. And you can see there's not much pressure in it just yet. But I can tell it's slowly but surely getting some pressure in it. Probably about a half a PSI, maybe one PSI in it right now. You can see right now that it's looking pretty firm. So I'm going to set it down and just let it pump for a little bit. See if I can get some good solid pressure in the tire. I wasn't timing it, but it probably took about two or three minutes to get the tire up to 30 PSI. I don't want to put any load on it yet. I want to make sure that it will hold pressure since it was so undeniably dead flat and give it a chance to reassume the proper shape. So here's the finished product. Well, that wraps another one up. 
If you're liking what you're seeing, how about giving me a like and uh, think about subscribing. I just might have something else real interesting you're going to be want to see coming up very soon. Got a lot more coming. Take care. Have a great day, y'all.